I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw a map of the Oregon Trail. I'm going to start way over here on the upper right. I'm going to put a dot. And from that dot, I'm going to draw a curve line out, curve line down, curve line over, curve line up, up, and connect. And right next to it, I'm going to draw a curve line up, curve line down, curve line over, curve line up, and connect. Right from the top part of this section right here, we're just going to draw a slightly wavy line keep going all the way across the top of our paper come up with a curved line and down come up with a curved line come down and bring this wavy wavy line all the way down off our page now what we're drawing is part of the United States not the whole part just the part that has the Oregon Trail. I come down here in the lower left so we know where we are and I'm just going to draw a straight line, straight line, triangle, 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 triangle. This is north, south, east, and west. Okay, now, since everything pretty much was a territory, it wasn't made into um, actual states yet, there's going to be a lot of lap over, so I'm just going to take you through it, and we'll see where we end up. So all the way over here, towards the center, but over here, I'm going to put a baby circle and a baby circle. And from those two baby circles, I'm going to draw a curve line up, connect, wavy line, follow the wavy line all the way up, all the way over. Right about here, we're just going to put another baby circle, okay? Down below, we're going to draw a triangle. We're going to label all of these in a minute. Come in a little bit, and right here, we're going to put straight diagonal lines jump over come down below straight diagonal lines and leave that okay now come back over here to our baby circles come up a little bit to right about here and put another baby circle right here put a straight diagonal out and we're going to write, let's start labeling this so that we know where we are. This is the South Pass, which is very important. And now we're going to start labeling all of the territories. Down below is the Kansas Territory. And some of these are going to overlap and some of them are going to be squished. Way down here is Texas. Over here is California, New Mexico Territory is over here, Territory, they weren't states yet, Territory. This over here is the Utah Territory, and up here is the Oregon territory. This triangle right here is Mount Hood. Now some of these might be a little bit off but you get the general idea. Up here in capital letters is Canada. Okay. And over here is the Pacific Ocean. We need to write that in. And these are the Great Lakes. This is Lake Superior. And over here is Lake Michigan.
Now, in between these spaces, you have the Nebraska Territory over by the lakes. You have the Minnesota Territory. Down below you have Iowa. And I think that's all. Now, some of these dots represent cities. So St. Joseph and Independence, Missouri were the start-off points for the Oregon Trail. Independence. Okay, so these were the start-outs. Then, as you went along, this was also an important place. Fort Laramie, this is where you would stop and get supplies. And this is right here, you would hit the South Pass. You had to get through the South Pass because otherwise the Rocky Mountains, which are these diagonals here and here, during the winter you would get snowed in. So they, they try to get going before, usually they left around spring. Now, part of this is along the Snake River. Let's put that here and the Platte River. Put that over here. Okay? I think that's all. Let's see how we're gonna color this in. Okay, because you wanna see where the actual Oregon Trail was, take, I'm using red violet so it looks different than anything else I'm gonna color and just go along this wavy line. This is the Oregon Trail. It was 2,170 miles and it was basically trying to get from what was considered the frontier to what they called the West. Okay? Next, I took red-orange and I colored in these baby circles that represent cities or stop-offs for people to get their supplies, get new animals, and this is very important. So with brown, the South Pass is part of Wyoming. Mount Hood is over here. This is part of Oregon. And the Rocky Mountains, just put some brown. You don't want to put too much color because we've got so much information going on here. Now, Canada. Let's just draw a wavy line. Canada goes is up. Let's take a blue and color in our Great Lakes. Now what's always interesting to me is that as the United States bought land from the French for the Louisiana Territory and Spain, they got California, New Mexico, and Texas, all of these territories that have not been made into states quite yet became part of the Oregon Trail. Okay, I'm taking some blue just putting it on the sides. And that's basically it. Okay, let's see what this looks like all colored in. Okay, here's my map colored in. This was really triggered by the Homestead Act that President Lincoln signed in 1862. If you were willing to go out west, you could get land, which is what everybody wanted. But a lot of this was also because of the Louisiana Purchase, Lewis and Clark Expedition, the California Gold Rush, everybody was going west. Very dangerous trip. Okay, bye-bye.